Today we are going to introduce you the function of boolean in function block diagram in ZilloSoft 2 for the Zillow Smart Release. Let's get a new project started here. Still we select SR3B101 BDSR base relay and select FBD in the function block diagram as a programming language. Click on next to enter the programming interface. The pooling function can be found on the second tab on the over left corner. As you can see here on the third row, second column, you can find this icon. Click and drag it to the program interface. As we can see, there are four different inputs and one output for this block. Double click on it, you will be able to bring up the parameter window and the truth table here. Let's look at the definition for this block here. Click on the question mark to bring up the help file. So basically, the pooling function is giving the value of the output according to the combination of the inputs. It follows a specific truth table that can be configured by you. So if a specific combination of the input appears, specific output behavior will happen. So it is kind of abstract without a live demo, so let's build up a simple program to demonstrate the functionality here. As we can see here, double click on it, you can bring up the configuration window. There are two options. First one is output off if result is true, and second one is output on if result is true. And this one is the default selection in the function blocks. Here it listed the truth table here, all the possible combinations about the four inputs are listed here. Right now, this thing cannot be configured, it's all grayed out. Only if we connected the inputs to it, these sections will be configurable for us. So let's get started here. I want to use four discrete inputs. And connect the discrete inputs to the input terminals for my boolean contact block. Also I use a relay output to demonstrate the behavior here. And now let's double click on it. As we can see the output column of this truth table now is in white, which is configurable. Double click on it to change the setting for it. Now it's your turn to determine what kind of output behavior you want to see from this Boolean block. For example, I have four discrete inputs right now. I want to realize one kind of function that only if one input is present, the Boolean block will give me a high output. And only one input is present, Boolean block will give an output. For other scenarios, the Boolean block will give me off output. How should I do that? So now I need to find the scenario that only one input is present. I then change the output to high. Or so change the output to one. Say so I should change this one to one as well. Since this row it has two inputs, I want it to stay off. This row it has one input, I want it to turn on. This row it has two, this row it has two, three, and this row it has one input present, so I want it to turn on. And still, that's pretty much it. Only if one input is present, I want the, I want the boolean block to output on, otherwise it stay off. So let's see if that is true. Start the simulation. So we can see we didn't add any analog inputs, so it's giving us a warning that says there's no function added in the program yet. Start the simulation. For example, still remember only if one input is present, I want the output block to be high. Let's try. 
first one, I turn the input number one on, then I can see the output is outputting a on to my relay output here. But if I turn on I2, as you can see, it switches off. If three inputs is present, it will stay off. Four inputs is present, it will stay off. So it works properly for the first one. Also, you can verify again. So if I turn on I2, output turn to on position. And if I turn on any other inputs, it will stay off. Same thing should remain for the third one. So only if one input is present, this time it's IB, the output will be high. If I turn on any others, the output will stay off. Same thing for IC. That's pretty much it about the Boolean function. It's a truth table that you can utilize to realize specific functions when a specific input is present. So it's fully customizable. Still remember the output column will not be available for you to use if the inputs are not connected to this block here. So let's try another option here. Output off if the result is true. Run the simulation here. So right now we can see that since the logic has been changed to this block will output off if only one input is present, which means that if only one input is present, the output should be off. And all the other scenarios, it should still give us a high output on the output side. See if that is true. Let's close input one. You see it's off. If I turn on any other of these inputs or all of them, the contact output should stay on. As we can see. Same thing for the second one. Input number two is on, then output should stay off. If any other input is present, then it should stay on. Same thing for the third one. If input B is on, the output should stay off. If any other input is present, it should output on.